Question 25. The diagram shows two similar solids A and B. Ooh, similarity problem. Solid A has a volume of 80 centimeters cubed. Work out the volume of solid B. Well, we're given two of the lengths, uh, length A and length B, so we can work out the first stage, which will give us a linear scale factor. A linear scale factor. It's from 4 to 8, so you take the end value, divide it by the start value, which gives us a scale factor of 2. That doesn't mean our volume is 2 times bigger, however. Uh, we've got an area scale factor and then a volume scale factor that are slightly different. Now, area is a square, volume is a cube, so you take your linear square scale factor, cube it. Put it to the power of 3, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which means the volume of what solid B is 8 times bigger than the volume of solid A. So if we know that the this one is 80 to start off with, we can say that so the volume of B is equal to 80 multiplied by the volume scale factor. 8, so 80 times 8 is 640 centimetres cubed. Solid B has a total surface area of 160 centimetres squared. Work out the total surface area of solid A. This is a similar thing, except we already know that our linear scale factor is 2. But we're dealing with area now, so this time we have an area scale factor, which is just the linear scale factor squared, which gives us a scale factor of 4. So if B has a total surface area of 160, A will just be, because we're getting smaller, we're going to have to divide, so it's 160 divided by 4, which equals 40, so our final answer is 40 centimetres squared.